Hi friends, it's Saturday, December 13th, 2014, 12, 13, 14, Planet Earth Dating. Lynn and Jamie, Body Minds here, continuing our assignments. We have five souls crammed into these Body Minds right now, all here at Ground Zero. We're here to trigger the awakening and our intention for this continuation of the session we've been working with for almost 12, 12 hours so far today is to do what is ours to do in all dimensions to trigger the awakening right now. And with that, it begins. I'm in the time tunnels, the tunnels that were uh, are in the process of being reconstructed yes. after the damage they incurred. Yes. And we're just swishing energy now back to front and front to back through the time tunnels, which means future to past, past to future. <coughs> and I'm being shown various time tunnels at various levels, including the white tunnels below that we used to work in That's and true. tile that had closed down there, being opened up again. Uh, apparently true. all of this was uh, unauthorized closing, and now they're opening up again, and the tunnels are being swished with light. That's true. And there is some sadness present. That's true. Uh, I see that there is a long um, gap or void or cavern or something like that in from right about where we are through some period of time until it picks up again. It's like a, a void. There is a rope bridge yeah. that goes over this void. And then it picks up again and the, the void is uh, dark, very black and it smells bad, sulfurous smells coming up. It looks like a bridge over hell. It looks like a bridge over hell, it does. I look into the future on the other side and I see, hi, I see my friends waving at me very enthusiastically and they're explaining about it in, in kind of gestures like you would. You know yeah. what it is? It's kind of like semaphore, the flag. Yes, that's yes. exactly. Flags for ships, semaphore. Yeah. And they're sending a message with semaphore, and it, it tells the story of what happened, uh, that there were intervening era, eras that were unhelpful, prolonged the agony, is what the semaphore seems to be saying. Prolonged the agony. That prolonged the agony, and that the Band-Aid is being ripped off faster rather than slower, and they're yeah. talking about death throws and how th those aren't pleasant and it's better to just rip the band-aid off fast yeah. and so we're asking how we may we be of service how may we be of service to rip off this band-aid and I'm shown a band-aid and it's like clinging to some looks like arm hairs or something that's true um, well Game Theory says rip off the Band-Aid, yeah, right? I'm live streaming it up. I think you want me to rip off the Band-Aid. I feel like I'm small, and I can just walk over and stand on the forearm and rip it off. That's true. And, ah, I get it, and then a hand comes down to smack me like I'm a mosquito. Yes, I see. Yes, yes. Okay. So, pause. Rewind. I'm not going to do that small. What I'm going to do is get big. Because I can be whatever size I need to be. Whatever we need to be, we can do. It's That's okay. True. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. There's no limitation. There's no limitation. We just run enough energy. It's not our energy. It's just running source through us. That's true. Uh, and what do I know? I know that bullies uh, pick on those who they perceive as weaker, so probably overshooting the mark is better than undershooting it sure. so I will just keep going it's like now that's a child next to me with a band-aid and I say son you have you have a band-aid hanging off your arm would you like some help getting that off yeah. or do you want to get it off yourself it might it might sting just a bit when it comes off because it's stuck to your arm hairs do you yeah. want to pull it off or do you want me to get it's that like you point? do it you do it mommy Okay, I'm happy to. It's going to sting a little bit, okay? okay? You ready? Ready. So you can pinch me over here, <laughs> okay? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll pull this off and then you pinch me, okay? okay. So, so uh, one, two, three, I'll pull it off and you pinch me. Okay. One, two, three. There. Better? Yeah. Let's put this away. Let me look at what was under that. How'd you get this burn? You look super puzzled. Yeah. 
Well, uh, what do I know? I know that usually under the band-aid, it's what it says is, I don't want to do it. So maybe, maybe, maybe that time is coming to an end. It could be. Maybe we have been burned enough. <laughs> maybe that's why it looks like a cigarette burn. Maybe really we does. have been burned enough that we're ready to give up fighting against our soul plan. It's possible. It's possible. So I'm just going to take this young person's face in my hand so lovingly, turn his face to mine and yes. say, Honey, yes. do you want to be who your soul wants you to be? Nodding. Uh-huh. Do you want to live the life you've come here to live? Uh-huh. Do you want to step up and make a difference in the world? Yeah. Do you want to create lives of joy and worlds that work? Yeah. Would you like to trigger the awakening? Yeah. All we have to do is put our channels up and then ask in every moment what is ours to do right now? How may I be of service? Do you want to ask that with me? Yes, please. How may I be, I may of, be service of service right now? How may I be of service right now? So now let's pull our books out and look. What does your book say, my dear? It's like a picture book. I can't help but notice that the tree in your picture book looks an awful lot like that tree right up there. Yeah, it, it does. looks like the same tree, doesn't it? And that it? little boy looks like you. It does. <laughs> Shall we go walk up to that tree over there and see what? Yeah. It's like he's taking your hand. Yeah. Would you like to climb this tree now that we're here? So that yeah. Or do you want me to put you up right there on the place where that other little boy was sitting in the picture book? Not. What do you see? Fire. I see fire also and smoke. Yes. If you hear, listen carefully. Do you hear anything? Sirens. Sirens. Emergency sounds. Chances are that's the old ways burning. Right? Yeah. And now what does your book show? What's the next page? Looks kind of like a firework or a big explosion. And then the following page? Like space. And then somewhere in there I'm flipping ahead. I see springtime. Things that look like yeah, springtime. Channel up. What now? How may we be of service? They're showing me something like reaching in, reaching down. <laughs> And they're calling it Indira's Net. I think it Indira is the word, Indira's Net. And grabbing the center of it and pulling it up. It doesn't have to be fast. And when yeah. I do that, I get a strange sensation in my head. Really yeah. strange. That's true. Pulling it up, all the way up, Indira's Net. And I'm handing it up. Spinning stars, spinning merry-go-rounds. Yeah. Let me move to the center of the gyroscope for the allness of us, balance us Watch at the for center. It. Reaching through, grabbing the start of all creation, pulling it through all time, all matter, all time. Beginning, the end, together. <laughs> through. 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 Whoa. It's like time is holding in, or twisting open. Everything is turning inside out, and like inside out in a billion different directions. It's like we're part of the rope that we were pulling. And now it feels like boiling. And the portal closed under us. I believe we're supposed to walk out into the backyard and look up at the night sky. Yeah. So I'm going to do it, and I see as soon as I do that, I see someone waving at me from way up high, like impossible, somebody in the sky waving at me. Yeah. You see that waving hand? Yeah, I do. You hear that one star? I do. So th my working theory is we go there. Yeah. Like a familiar place. I feel like I stepped across the sky. I don't really have a better way to explain That's true. it. And that we are now somewhere familiar. We come in peace. <laughs> It's we, true. We're here to speak with the person in charge. That person over there. Yes. Greetings, friend. We've been traveling up from Ground Zero. 
uh, we've been sent to trigger the awakening. Now is the time of the awakening. We're giving everybody their opportunity to participate. It's kind of like last call. Would you like to press the takedown button? Live streaming it up. My thinking is wherever we are, it isn't high enough. Right. Moving higher. Channels up. How may we be of service right now? Get the spinning balance point and hold it a lot better than that. Now it's like the spinning ball of light that is all of us is spinning really fast and zooming up. Either felt or saw that kind of cartoony kaboom. Yes. The next page of the book. Yeah. The next page of the book. 